All right, welcome to Sailplane Grand Prix, uh, the winners of day five. Uh, Zulu Oscar, Rich Owen, uh, 7 Eleven, Tom Kelly, and one Charlie, Jim Lee. Fantastic flight today, gentlemen. Uh, why don't you tell us what were the key moments and how you did it? Let's start with you, Rich. I think the first thing is I wanted to get to the first turn point first and then get as low as I possibly could and let the gaggle overfly me and then have to work really hard to catch back up. Yep. But going into the, uh, uh, the last turn point, the uh, gaggle made a right-hand turn going to our cloud deck. There was a cloud that was just starting on the direct line to the uh, next turn point. I went to the direct line, bumped that one, got to another cloud deck, had a great climb there, but I just bumped it, went to the turn point, turned around, then climbed, got final glide home, and beat the gaggle. Fantastic. That was it. Well, good job, Rich. Tom, tell us about your flight. Well, I didn't listen to Rich give advice to everybody about the final glide, <laughs> so I, I left just a little bit behind Jim that I marked a great thermal for going into the last turn, and uh, he left it before I made the turn and came back to the great thermal, but that was okay. And when I glided in, because I didn't listen to Rich, uh, I had several moments about even getting back here that I uh, enjoyed when I first got off a tow today. Because I got down to 1200 and the CD was calling me and asking me what my altitude was and finally I had to tell him I didn't have time because I might be landing out. <laughs> but after that I caught four and a half knots back up and the day went pretty good. It was a, it was a fun day and uh, I flew with Jim and for, for about the last third of the flight at least and, and we had a good time. Great job. Fantastic. Jim, tell us about your flight. I was pretty much with the group to the first turn point and the second turn point. And a little bit after that, everybody kind of faded uh, right to the west. And I faded a little bit to the east and uh, ended up with a little bit better line. And so when we all came back together again, I had uh, a few hundred feet on top of everybody else around and then uh, and then you, you caught me Sean and uh, you and I and then uh, Jersey were uh, running together for a ways to uh, Wallaby Ranch area I-4 yep and uh, there were two choices there uh, one uh, to the west to the right that, that you guys took and uh, and I thought there was a better cloud street uh, to the east, to the left. No question. And on top of that, it was right over Highway 27, which us local guys know is the Florida Ridge. That's where the invisible mountains are here in Florida. <laughs> so um, I would so I, turn I would turn the camera to the right here to the street, which just dissolved 15 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yep. It, it lasts forever. So I had a really good run under that street and uh, took the turn point at uh, Chalet Suzanne, pretty much at cloud base. And, and uh, even before Chalet Suzanne, the little uh, LX lady came on and said, final glide achieved. And I went, no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you talk. <laughs> and so uh, out to the last turn point, met up with Tom, got a little bit of a head start on Tom and, and uh, tried to fly hard enough that that Mr. Speed Demon here couldn't catch me in the last leg, so it all worked out really good for me. Well, that was a fantastic flight. I look forward to looking at the traces here at dinner. So, uh, what are your general impressions, real quick, of uh, the Sailplane Grand Prix format? Uh, Rich, let's start with you. I really like it. It's it's different than normal uh, U.S. rules racing. Uh, I like the assigned tasks. Uh, it takes a little bit different strategy. The, uh, the only thing I would sit there and say is, is you could finish 15 seconds behind the leader and you end up in eighth place. Right. So that, that's kind of hard to take, but you know what? It's pretty good when you're up in the, uh, the top three. Yes, as you are today. Congratulations. Tom, what are your thoughts? I would say we're fortunate that we have the group that we have because all these guys are, are really showing the, their quality of their flying. And, and that's what's really good. And uh, the camaraderie and the friendship, uh, that's really good. So there's a lot of good bonus points here for us. And uh, uh, I, I guess 
what I could end up saying is, is we need to give you a thanks because you're helping to foster and promote our sport, and, and that's really that's really important. So thank thank you, Sean, for all that you're doing here for us. I appreciate that, Tom. Thanks. And Jim, what are what are your thoughts? Uh, it's it's very different from uh, signed area task racing, where you pretty much spend. Uh, three hours or so out there pretty much all by yourself and you think you're going like stink but you get home and you find out that you're a big loser for the day <laughs> kind of like so, kind of like we all did today with you two <laughs> so, uh, so you know it, it's neat in that respect um i like gaggle flying so uh there's no aversion there uh, you know this format does yeah. does uh, induce more gaggle flying um i don't have a problem with that i, I like it i like gaggle flying Yep. Um, but the thing I like the best about it is, uh, as opposed to area task racing, where, like I said, you're out there all by yourself for hours and you don't really know how you did, um, here you're right with everybody for a good portion of the race. And so you really get to see what people are doing and, and what moves they have that that uh, makes them win the day. Yeah. kind of thing so um I, there's a lot of learning to be done in this format that's that's what i like about it yep well i appreciate that well you three flew brilliantly today you two for making that beautiful move to the uh east and uh rich you just basically blew the gaggle away there at the very finish and went from fifth or sixth to third yeah. it was really fun watching you guys fly you guys are brilliant pilots we'll look forward to two more days thanks very much we'll see you tomorrow thanks, thanks sean, sean. Thanks.